In today's video, I want to go over the first Black Friday leak. The Walmart Black Friday leak is showcasing the Nintendo Switch Lite, the PlayStation 4, and more being discounted. Only a small leak, but as we're heading closer and closer to Black Friday, all of this stuff is going to be covered by me. And this channel, we always try to cover Black Friday heavy every year, so if you guys are excited for that, be on the lookout, and there are some exciting deals to go over. Also, there's a report going around that Overwatch 2 will be announced at BlizzCon 2019 and will feature both PvE and and PvP. I don't know how the general reception for this game is gonna be just because of the train wreck that Blizzard is right now, but nonetheless, we'll cover that. And Hideo Kojima says that he needs to make more strand genre games and streaming will bring a big change. We'll take a look at what he said at the end of this video. But first up, some early Black Friday leaks have arrived. Black Friday always arrives sooner than expected, but in the case of this new leak claiming to show some of Walmart's biggest Black Friday 2019 gaming deals, it's even earlier than normal. A poster named that one guy who on Cheap Ass Gamer claims to have received an early look at Walmart's Black Friday plans from a source that they have faith in and the screenshot shows just the video game console section of Walmart's Black Friday plans with huge deals on the Nintendo Switch Lite, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. I know that generally speaking we're a PlayStation channel, however Black Friday is the time where a lot of people try to pick up new consoles, so I want to highlight all of the deals on consoles that are available. And quite possibly the most exciting deal is the fact that the Nintendo Switch Lite is rumored to be 25% off instead of $199.99, it will be $149. All three colors, yellow, turquoise, and gray, will supposedly be on sale. In addition to the Nintendo Switch Lite, the standard Nintendo Switch is also rumored to be on sale. The standard Switch will be 33% off, selling for $199 instead of the standard retail price of $299. This is big because generally speaking, the Nintendo Switch does not go on sale often. What they will do is they'll bundle a game or two, but the standard price of the Switch, it never goes down. And I don't even know if they ever bundle two games with it. It's usually like you get Mario Kart or whatever the case may be. As far as the Nintendo Switch goes, it's very rare that the consoles will actually be discounted, so this is pretty cool. As far as are we going to see any bundles with games included, I don't know, but if it's going to be down to $199 and there are bundles available that bundle in a Mario Kart 8 or whatever the case may be, and another game on top of just getting the Switch for $200, that'd be great. And then the Switch Lite is going to be something that a lot of people will be all over, especially at $149. I do expect that to be a hot item if this does come to fruition. Also, the Xbox One S 1 terabyte, including Minecraft, Sea of Thieves, and Forza Horizon 3 is rumored to be down to $149. That typically goes for $249, so that is pretty good. I don't know how many people are eager to pick up a current generation console at this point, given that next gen is going to be out soon, but for $149, man, that's super cheap, and if somebody is just looking for an additional console for like a living room or whatever, now would be a pretty good time to buy one. Also, the PlayStation 4 is rumored to be significantly discounted. The regular Sony PS4 1TB Slim is suggested to be down to $149. That's $150 off $299. And then the PlayStation 4 one terabyte Pro is rumored to be down to $299. That is $100 off. So the PS4 Pro is still holding up a hefty price point. That's crazy that the Pro is twice the price of the one terabyte Slim. Given that, yes, I could understand like the One X being two times the cost of the Xbox One S. However, it's not like the Pro is this significant, significant improvement upon the PlayStation 4, the base model. I mean, it is an improvement, but $150 more is a little bit much. I think at $250, it would have been a good buy, and some people would have honestly picked it up just so they could play some of the existing games better, and for games like uh, The Last of Us Part Two coming out, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and Cyberpunk 2077, those games, without a doubt, are going to take advantage of the PlayStation 4 Pro. However, at $299, I don't know, it's just not a great deal in my eyes just because again that's $300 you can put towards next gen. So those are the deals we have at this point. Obviously these are just consoles. We don't have any more deals at this point but there are going to be significant deals on a ton of games and newly released games at that. If you've yet to pick up games like Borderlands 3, Code Vein and a lot of these games that just came out The Outer Worlds which is about to drop I imagine the majority of the titles that I just mentioned are going to be on sale and the majority of games that have just come out during this fall season they literally put like everything on sale. Maybe a couple games here or there will fall through the cracks, but outside of the physical deals and the deals at your brick and mortar store, the PlayStation store is going to be running significant sales as well. So they're going to really have all bases covered and there's going to be a lot of good deals for you guys to check out. All right, moving on from that, Twitter user and Twitch streamer Metro, who is known for 
accurately leaking some Overwatch announcements in the past has claimed that Blizzard will announce a sequel to Overwatch at BlizzCon 2019. Overwatch 2 has been rumored for quite some time with the latest report coming from Kotaku claiming that Blizzard canceled the StarCraft first person shooter to focus on Diablo 4 and Overwatch 2. In response to those who quizzed the authenticity of this report, Metro claimed that he has no reason to doubt his source because they are the same person who accurately leaked information about Ash to them prior to the character's official announcement. Metro refused to divulge any further details to protect the source's identity. So what does Metro say about Overwatch 2? Here's what was said so far. Overwatch 2 will be PvE and PvP. Overwatch 2 is going to have a leveling system that is going to affect how you can play your hero. The leveling system is going to change certain abilities of the heroes in the game. It is not known if this feature is PvE only or is also PvP. No new hero for Overwatch from what was told. They are putting all their resources towards releasing Overwatch 2 as fast as possible, and it wasn't known if competitive will be just moved or if it will be a fusion type of thing. I think it'll be a move possibly even at the start of the next season based on the fact that this game is called Overwatch 2 and not an expansion to Overwatch. BlizzCon, of course, does kick off on November 1st. It's kind of a murky time for Blizzard. It's an absolute train wreck over there. They're trying to do a lot of damage control. Not gonna really get into that all too much, but yeah. I don't know as far as from a promotion emotional standpoint is BlizzCon the best place to announce an Overwatch 2. Obviously, they have to roll the game's information out as soon as they can, but I guarantee you once Overwatch 2 has its debut trailer uploaded to YouTube, I don't imagine that like to dislike ratio being pretty good. But nonetheless, I really dug the first Overwatch. I thought it was a great game. If Overwatch 2 can build upon that, it'll probably end up being a success, so we'll see how that turns out. And lastly, I do want to speak a little bit on what game director Hideo Kojima, obviously working on Death Stranding, although that game has gone gold said during the 2019 Cologne Film Festival live panel he spoke a little bit about Death Stranding and the Strand genre and here's what he said well not the world but I want to relay the new game feeling to the user. Previously, it was the stealth genre, the Metal Gear franchise, but this time, I just kind of call it the strand genre, and if I want to establish a real game, I feel that I need to create more games to create the genre of a genre. He goes on to explain how films and games are moving closer and closer in narrative with each new form of playable format. He noted, I think storytelling will be changing in the future. Let's look at games, and it started as an arcade, put a coin in for a game for only three to five minutes, so you didn't really need a storyline to or plot to it. Then it became the Nintendo Entertainment System, and now you don't have to go to the arcade, you could go back home and play games. The storytelling aspect had changed because of being able to play at home, but you needed a platform, so what's changing is streaming, so you could use your tablet, smartphone, PC screen, TV, and you can play anytime you want. So you see the films, movies, and games, they were said to be a water and oil and never match, but now they have become both digital, forming together with streaming, that era is shortly to come. That's the general picture, and movies and games will probably make a big change over the next few years. The panel closed off with Kojima joking about a possible spin-off featuring Nicholas Winding's character Hartman. For those unaware, this character dies every 21 minutes in which he then explores the other side before being revived again. So that's more just Hideo Kojima memeing. Obviously, Death Stranding is one of those games that seems incredibly ambitious. While we don't know much about the game, I really do think that was imperative of putting the game out where he does want to keep the consumer and the player in the dark because that's what an integral element of the game. Not a lot of developers and studios can get away with that, but Hideo Kojima has good will, he has the trust built with the fans that people are just sold on the game inherently with it being a PlayStation 4 exclusive, with it being a Hideo Kojima title that even though we don't know too much about it, even though that a lot of people aren't completely captivated by the gameplay, we're still sold on it and I imagine the game is going to be really good considering that in a very rare situation, the game's reviews are gonna go up a week before the game even releases. That's pretty rare and usually doesn't happen and that makes me think that they're incredibly confident about how the game is gonna turn out. Whatever the case may be, Death Stranding is out on November 8th and that's gonna conclude this video. Again, some Black Friday deals have been leaked. PlayStation 4 one terabyte slim for $149, PS4 Pro for $299, Xbox One S and three games for $149, Nintendo Switch base model for $199 and Nintendo Switch Lite for $149. Let's see if all that comes to fruition. I feel like it is going to. Overwatch 2 is rumored to be announced at BlizzCon 2019, and Hideo Kojima feels he needs to make more strange genre games, and streaming is going to bring a big change to gaming. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.